Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to understand what is the use of fillet and chamfer command. The fillet and chamfer command are in the modify toolbar. This is a fillet command and this is a chamfer command. Now let's understand what is the use of fillet and chamfer command. So I made a small rectangle over here. If I want a round edges and roundness around the corners of these rectangles, I will use the fillet command. If I want to bevel the corner of this rectangle, then I'm going to use the chamfer command. Now, first of all, I use the fillet command. So I'll select the fillet. Once I select the fillet in the command line bar, it will ask me select first object. Now here, do not select any object. Instead of that, take a radius over here. So you can see here radius. I click on the radius and it will ask me about the radius of the roundness. Okay, now uh, let us suppose the radius is 6 and enter. Now it will ask you about the select first object. So let us suppose I want a roundness at this corner. I am going to select this line and this line. So see, once I select both of the lines, it will give me the roundness over here. You can also check the roundness with the help of dimension. I'll take a dimension over here. I'll take the radius. Once I select this one, it gives me six radius. You can say this. I give the radius six, so it gives me six. If I want to give the multiple fillets, I want to give the fillet to this one, this one, and this one. So how to do that? You can see this. I take the fillet command, select first object. So instead of first object, give the radius. So radius, let us suppose again six. Okay, now here, in this, we have a multiple here. So select multiple here. I'll select the multiple. Now you are going to select the objects now. I'll select this one, this one. Okay, still your fillet command is running. So going to this one and this one. So this is a fillet, this one and this one. Now escape. So this is a way to give the roundness to your figure. So to give the roundness to figures, you have to use the fillet command. Now I'm going to make the chamfer of it. Now again, I may have to make a rectangle. I make a small rectangle here. Okay, but this is a default rectangle. Now give to give the beveling to these corners. Now go to this one, select chamfer. Again in the command line bar, select first line. Again, instead of select the first line, you have to give the distance here now. See this distance, select distance. So let us suppose the first chamfer distance is 6 and enter. It will ask about the second chamfer distance. Again, give, uh, let us suppose uh, 7, enter. Now it will ask about the first line. So let us suppose this is my first line and this is my second line. So you can see this, this has been chamfered. Now again, take the dimensions. I'm going to take a dimension here to understand. See this. See, this is a 7, okay, and again take the dimension, and this is 6. So this is a way to give the beveling to the corners of your any object. So this is a chamfer and fillet command, and how to use it, I'll explain it. I hope you understand this video successfully. Thank you everyone.